everybody. Welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together to get today for chair yoga. So making sure that the chair you're on is comfy and stable and as always that you had a little bit of space around you. If you want to use the back of your chair as support then go ahead and do that. Otherwise come forward a little even if it's a centimeter or so that way we start to rely on the strength of our body to hold us upwards. And if you need to come back and forward into that support at any time for your own stability and comfort, then go ahead and do that. So our feet are at a comfortable distance and that'll be different for each of us because we're all put together differently. You can spread those toes nice and wide, pick up the heels, slap the feet on the floor, anything you want to, to wake up your awareness to the soles of your feet. And then root the feet down into the support underneath you, whatever texture, whatever temperature that texture and that support is. So root down. You might even, if you push down a little bit, wake up some of the muscles in your legs and notice that coming alive. Take a big breath in when you're ready. And exhale it out. And imagine with every exhale, your awareness stops being way up here in your head and then we start to bring our awareness all the way down to the soles of our feet. You might even notice some buzzing or tingling down there. Notice that support underneath you, trust it. And allow your legs to deepen into the floor as well. So your feet are really taking the weight of your legs. And then from there, taking your awareness to your seat, always adjusting forward or back, side to side for your own comfort. There's no right way or wrong way of sitting on a chair. Notice if you're shifted more to one side than the other, to the front, to the back. And then come to a place that feels even for you. And we'll do the same thing that we did with our feet. So as we sit deeply into that seat, taking the weight of our upper body into the chair, take a big breath in, exhale, allow yourself to be supported here by that chair, a couple of breaths there. Just noticing your awareness settling in and settling down. And then from that groundedness in the lower body, we'll zip up through the spine as if I've just taken a zipper and zipped you up all the way up to the base of your skull through the crown of your head. So we have this lightness, this um, joining together and upwards, kind of a rooting to rise up through the upper body. Soften the shoulders back and down as much as is comfortable so they're soft and away from the ears. And then broaden through the collarbones. Not so much so that you're um, hardening up through the body, but just uh, broadening through the upper chest. So we open up through the heart space and through the lungs. Take a big breath in when you're ready. With that alignment, exhale and soften. So we start to release any tension we've built up. And then you can keep your eyes open, soft, lowered, or closed. And then just for a moment, check in and notice how you're feeling today. Notice the surroundings around you. The feeling of the space that you're in. And then tune into your own feelings. Notice what's on your mind as well. We're not trying to get rid of anything or solve anything. We're just acknowledging what's present in this moment. And notice how your physical body feels today. And maybe there's some tightness, some tension, even discomfort. But don't forget to pay attention to the quieter places, the places that feel easy, the places that feel strong. Off 
offering yourself any softness where there may be tension. Notice if you can soften where it feels hardened and release where it feels tight. And we start to pay attention to our breath. Inhaling and exhaling. You know, right or wrong way to breathe here, we all breathe differently and our breath changes all the time. Consider breathing in and out through the nose, if that feels okay for you today, and if it doesn't, no big deal. Again, no right and wrong here. And start to take slightly deeper breaths on the inhale and slightly longer breaths on the exhale, whatever that means to you. And there's no forcing of the breath here. So an allowing of the breath to get deeper and longer in your own way. And then we'll smooth those breaths out as best as we can. So we steady the inhale all the way to the top and we smooth the exhale all the way down to the bottom. So the breaths become more mindful. So we have these longer, smoother breaths in and out. And then with that breath, I invite you to do about 5, 10, 15% less effort. Even if that means let, letting the breath come back to a smaller, softer breath. And then notice how that feels, that letting go, that doing less. And then we'll root down through our feet when you're ready through your seat. And then we'll lift up. So rooting to rise once more. Soft shoulders, wide collarbones. Longer, smoother, softer breath. And on the inhale, we'll lift the chin up, maybe opening the mouth. Exhale, chin comes down towards the chest as the gaze lowers. Inhaling up, exhaling down with your breath. So the movement is guided within the breath. More is not better here. So stay at a place that feels comfortable for you and be aware of what's going on. Notice where you feel this. Keeping that breath longer, smoother and softer and allowing the movements the same etiquette. So longer, smoother, softer movements. Notice which part of the movements feel the most comfortable, the easiest. Notice the parts that feel more challenging, where sensation is louder. And then differentiate between simply sensation and a lot of the time when we feel something, we back off from it, but really tune into those sensations and notice what those sensations are telling you, what your body, what signals your body is telling you. And if you're not quite sure, that's okay too, just paying attention. That's where it all starts. Next, exhale, chin comes down towards the chest and we'll stay there for a couple of breaths. Breathing into the back of your neck, upper shoulders, upper back. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. And then on an inhale, we'll come all the way back up to center. This is now the inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna take our nose over to one side Inhale to center, exhale to the other. Again, moving within the breath, noticing what's happening in your body. Allow the movement to be lazy and slow. And notice if you're trying to rush it, with no judgment, just with a curiosity. Notice if your shoulders are getting in on the action or if you can keep everything from the collarbones upwards or downwards, collarbones downwards. 
still and stable with that rooting to rise. Two more either side. And after your next exhale, we'll come all the way back to center. From there, we're going to take that right hand down and allow it to be easy and soft. And we'll circle through the shoulders, inhaling up, exhaling down. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. Longer, smoother, softer movements. Again, paying attention to what you feel in your body and where you feel it. And notice if you're somebody who likes a lot of sensation and you allow those movements to be as big as possible to get as much sensation as you can. Or if you're somebody who is wary of sensation or somewhere in between. Again, no judgment, just being curious. And the more we tune into sensations, the more we kind of get used to the language of the body. Let's go around in the opposite direction. And it's strange how just simply changing direction can change the entire language that our body is talking to us in. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. Nice. Two more on this side. And then you can keep that right hand dangling down. We'll bring it back to support. Left hand comes down. Easy joints. And then we're inhaling up and exhaling down in circles. Again, noticing what's going on in your body. Noticing how this side differs from the other side without judgment. Just, again, with that curiosity. Noticing the different places that your body is talking to you as you move. Always knowing that you can do less or pause and rest if you need to. Another two here. And then at the end of the next exhale, whenever that is for you, we'll pause and go around in the opposite direction. The rest of your body is as stable and still as possible. And that way we really get to tune into the shoulder and the rest of your body that is unbeknownst to you, also coming along for the journey. You might notice things in your lower back, your hip, your belly. If you're feeling tightness, do anything you can to find some softness, even if that's making the movement a little smaller. Another two here. Always working with your body, not against it. Nicely done. And then we're going to come back to support. From here, we're going to take the thumb up towards the sky as if we're kind of chopping our knee in half here. And then bending from the elbow, we're going to inhale up, exhale down. We've got that support on the knee. If you don't need that support, we're going to take that hand down to the side of us. And keeping that upper arm as still and as stable as you can, really moving through the elbow. Nice. You can stay here or we start to move from the shoulder. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. And depending on what feels good in your shoulder here, inhaling up, exhaling down, maybe the hand comes even back behind you depending on that range of motion. Maybe it feels better if the arm is a little wider away from your ear. It's going to be different for each of us and it's probably going to be different one side to the other. Again, keeping the rest of your body as still and as stable as possible, rooting to rise. Notice where you feel this in your body. Working within your breath. Now the go-to here on that inhale when we lift that arm is to um, turn the front ribs out, jolt them out. See if you can keep them drawn in so the movement really is isolated in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
two more here, rest if you need to. And again, more is not better. Notice the inner dialogue that's happening. Notice the breath longer, smoother and softer. And that last exhale, we're gonna take that hand back to support. The left hand comes out, thumb to the sky, like you're chopping that knee in half. Upper arm is heavy, inhaling from the elbow, exhaling down for that support. Great place to be. If you want to add on, you may keep that elbow more or less next to the ribs and we'll draw that down beside the chair. Of course, if you have an arm on your chair, then it's going to be a little bit, you're going to have to take your arm over the top or keep it on your leg. Option to stay here, just noticing the elbow. Option to move from the shoulder, inhaling up, exhaling down, start small, longer, smoother, and softer breath. Maybe that arm comes up, maybe it even comes back behind you on the inhale and the exhale. Keeping the rest of the body as stable and as still as possible, so we're really starting to move only through the shoulder. And when I say only through the shoulder, you may pay attention to the different sensations in your body and notice that it's not just your shoulder that is involved here. You might be feeling this in all kinds of different places. Allow yourself to adapt and adjust the movement for yourself to feel more comfortable. Another three, steady and smooth breath. And although we're moving the shoulder, one more. And the rest of the body is quite involved. And let's take that hand all the way down to support and roll through the shoulders. Anything you need to kind of soften there. And I'm going to take those arms up in a cactus. Now the elbow and palms can be more forward or they can be in line with your shoulder or back behind you. Whatever happens, drawing those front ribs in, we're rooting to rise, we really have that stability in the rest of the body. Spread those fingers nice and wide, like you could twinkle like a star. This is the inhale as you draw the backs of your hands back. On the exhale, pivoting into kind of like a scarecrow, inhaling into a cactus. You can imagine that you're up against a wall behind you and you're just rotating through the shoulders once again. One side may feel very different from another. Just notice, be the witness to that without starting to get involved in stories as to why. But another two. Always resting if you need to. At the end of that exhale, we're gonna take those arms down and give them a little bit of um, a wiggle just to release any, um, any uh, discomfort there. Okay, from here we can take our hands into heart center. Take them into prayer, you can have soft fists, anything that works here, no big deal. Rooting to rise. Now the thumbs don't have to um, reach the sternum, but imagine here your sternum is reaching up towards the sky. So those front ribs are probably coming out a little bit here. You might even notice that there's a feeling of a little arch in the back. Shoulder blades come towards each other. That's the inhale. On the exhale, send the fingers forward and you know, round through the back body as we draw the fingertips forward, sitting onto the back of the pelvis as we tuck the tailbone, that's the exhale. Inhaling, coming up to center, lifting the heart, maybe even lifting the gaze. On the exhale, the chin can come down as we get into the flexion of the spine. So that's the movement, inhaling and exhaling. Now, if, it, if it's more comfortable for you, you can interlace the hands. Inhaling and exhaling. Adjusting this to feel good for you. You can even let those palms come towards the heart as you raise the heart space to meet those palms. 
You can get the feet involved on the inhale. Imagine dragging the heels back as you're lifting up through the heart. And on the exhale, pushing through the feet to curl that and tuck that tailbone. Mm -hmm. Those arms do not have to be anywhere near straight as you draw them out in front of you. Just a comfortable um, way for you. Breath is steady and smooth, those longer, smoother, softer breaths. Two more. Nicely done. And from here, coming all the way back to center, rolling through the shoulders. Keeping those hands down, coming into a soft twist. Now we're going to twist towards the left to start with and then over towards the right. So hands down, rooting to rise, readjusting yourself on your chair as you need to. The inhale is the extension through the spine. On the exhale, right fingertips forward, left back as we twist towards the left. Inhale to center and exhaling, twisting. Now notice what's happening in your feet and seat, keeping both feet and both sides of the pelvis, both sit bones rooted to the chair. So the spinal twist is really in the spine and we're not getting the hips involved as we come across. Option to take the gaze towards the left or even over the back of that left shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Notice how this feels in your spine. Notice if there are particular places that it feels more challenging, maybe in the neck, maybe the upper back, the thoracic spine, maybe the lower back. Working within your breath, so we still have those longer, smoother, softer breaths. Option to keep pulsing. Option next time we twist to stay to the left. You can hover your hands if you're uh, very much using those as leverage in your twist. Every inhale, still the lengthen. And then the exhale, the opportunity to soften or deepen that twist. More or less, one more breath here. And then on the inhale, we come up and out. Take a breath, any movement you need, go ahead. And we're coming to the other side. So rooting to rise, steady breath, inhale, and exhale, twisting to the right, inhaling to center, and exhaling over to the right. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. Again, paying attention, how does this side feel different? Where do you feel this in your body? Which parts feel really challenging for you? Maybe glancing over that right shoulder, noticing if you're twisting your hips or your knees are coming with you, keeping the lower body as stable as possible. So we really keep the twist, that um, rotation in the spine only. Noticing the places that tighten up and soften and do less where that is starting to happen. Ease the body into the movement. Now you can stay here pulsing or for the next three, we stay as much or as little as you like, rooting to rise on the inhale, exhale, deepening or softening the twist, hovering those hands if you want to. Steady breath for the last exhale. Inhaling up and out. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we're going to take those feet a little bit wider. Hands on the thighs for support. Rooting to rise once more. Coming forward or back on your chair as you need to. And we're going to roll through those ribs. Big barrel rolls here. Hands are supporting you on your legs. And once again, feel free to close your eyes, soften your gaze, lower your gaze. The less stimulation we get from the eyes, as long as you feel stable, the more we can tune in to our inside world, our interception, what's happening inside us. And notice which parts of your body are talking to you here. 
slow it down in the places that you feel like you're rushing through, adjusting, adapting for your body. What is it that it's telling you that you need? And then at the end of the next exhale, we'll pause and go around in the opposite direction. Just tuning into the language of your body. Resting, of course, if you ever need to. Mm -hmm. Two more here. Last one. And coming all the way back up to center, coming forward or back on your chair, depending on how much support you need. That left foot is now part of your foundation, as is your seat, and rising from there. On the right side, you can keep the foot on the floor, lift the toes, lift the ball of the foot so you're on the heel. That right hand to or towards the inner right leg. On the inhale, we're extending outwards. External rotation on the exhale, we've got that internal rotation as it draws in. Now, just as before, left leg and the upper body completely stable and still. What we're moving from here is the hip joint, that femur joint rotating in the pelvis. More is not better here. What, we're, what we want is the steadiness of the movement, the smoothness, the ease of it. Notice if you're coming to a place where you're kind of pushing yourself, so you can stay away from that and let the body naturally open up on its own. And if you need to rest, do every other one, every third one, go ahead. And again, listening to your body here. Is there something you can do to adjust, make it feel better for you? Mm -hmm. Last one, we're gonna take that knee out. If the foot was up at any capacity, we're gonna draw it, draw it down, readjust yourself. Coming to the other side, so that right foot is firmly rooted into the floor. Push it down just like in the beginning of class, and then release that a little so you've got that awareness downward. Same with the seat, and we're rising from there. You can keep the left foot on the floor, lift the toes, lift the ball of the foot, your choice. On the inhale, we've got that external rotation. Exhale, internal rotation. Don't be surprised if this side is very different. If you need to adjust your stance for this to work for you on this side. Again, there's no right and wrong here. We're all just figuring out what works for us. Today, not what happened last week. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Steady breath, and again, tune in. Close your eyes if you feel stable enough, and notice what's happening in the hip. Notice the sensation, notice what your body's telling you. Is it saying rest? Is it saying that this is your sweet spot and it's perfect? Is it giving you some information about where you need to take extra care? One more here. And then if that foot was up, we'll take it down. Readjusting yourself now, maybe even sliding back on your chair a little, coming into shoulder dips. So from here, rooting to rise, finding that strength through the rising. We're gonna turn to the left to start with. Hands on the legs. This is the inhale and the exhale. That right shoulder is coming forward and down as you draw away from or you push into the right leg any amount turn towards the left inhaling up exhaling with dropping down that right shoulder getting into the lower right back and maybe a whole lot of other places for you so again listening to your body is far more important than listening to me 
So once you have the movement, then you get to choose how you can change and adapt it for you. If this is even right for your body. Working with your breath, you can even take that gaze over the left shoulder. If that feels good for you, notice how that changes things. We've got two more on this side. And then we're going to come to the right side. So this is the inhale, left shoulder dips down, looking to the right. And when we go from one side to another, it's inevitably a little bit awkward to start with. And then we start to ease into the movement as our body gets used to it. Notice the breath, longer, smoother, softer breaths. You can glance over that right shoulder if that feels good in your neck. Last one here. Coming all the way up. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out, dropping your awareness deep into the body. And then we'll heel toe the feet into center. Settle down here with your breath. And then for those of you who want to come down to the floor, you can start to get. So here we are on the floor. We're gonna come all the way down, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Any softness you need underneath you, please take it. And if you need a pillow underneath your head because that's more comfortable for you, um, then go ahead and do that. So from here, you can be drawing in that right knee. Give it a little hug. And then from there, we're just gonna circle through that ankle. One direction, nice and slow. And then we're going to be taking that round in the opposite direction just to get that range of motion through the ankle. A lot of the time, we don't take the time to do that. Coming back up to center and just draw that knee in towards your um, ribs as much as feels comfortable. And if you're in your chair, just do you, your gravity is working against you there. So just do as much as feels comfortable. And then from here, we're gonna take the arms out in a cactus or a T or down by your hips, palms turning down, just to get that stability. Bringing the knee up to um, the ceiling. And then from there, we're gonna be cycling as if we're on a one-legged upside down bicycle here. So keeping a little flex in that right foot is gonna help with support. If you are on the chair, every other one at the end of that exhale, you can tap that foot down, give yourself a rest. As I said, it's a bit more challenging if you're in the chair because gravity is working against you. Now this is getting a whole lot into the hips, the knees, and the ankles involved as well, somewhat. Notice what's happening, especially if you're lying down on the floor, what's happening in your spine, keeping your spine as neutral as possible. So notice if you're overarching your back or that is changing as you maybe extend your leg out a little as those movements may get a little bigger. Keeping your shoulders, the back of your skull and the back of your pelvis, both sides of your pelvis rooted. Now, if you're seated, then it's a little more challenging because you don't have the floor there as um, feedback. So keeping that spine as stable as you can. Notice which direction you're going in. Mm -hmm. Two more here. And then we're gonna draw that knee in if you're on the chair, get that leg a little rest on the floor. Take a big breath in. And exhale it out and come back to those longer, smoother, softer breaths. Arms come back to the support that is best for you. And then we're gonna take that round in the opposite direction. And this might feel a little bit more choppy, no big deal. That's inevitable. 
You can keep the movement small. Again, if you're on the chair, you can tap down in between each one, every other one. Give that, those hip flexors a little bit of a rest. And you can make those movements as big or as small as you like, but again, keeping the pelvis, the spine, the shoulders, the head supported and stable and steady. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Steady breath. You can always rest. We've got another few here. And then the next time that knee comes in, if you're on the floor, give it a hug. If you're in the chair, let it rest on the floor. Take a big breath in, exhale it out. Nicely done. And then from here, hands come back to support. This is the exhale on the inhale. We're gonna extend that leg out to maybe it comes up towards the sky, maybe it comes at a 45 degree angle. Maybe you work towards it coming down and hovering from the floor. That's the inhale, the extension, exhale, it's coming back. Same thing on the, um, if you're in the chair, only that extended leg, the heel can come to the floor. And then you're gonna give it a hug on that exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. Now, wherever you are, this, we've got stability in the rest of the body. So for everybody, that left leg is rooted down, the pelvis, the spine is steady, and of course, if you're on your back, you can feel that a little bit more. Option to stay here. Option to extend the left leg out, and notice how that changes things. Exhaling, we're drawing everything in. Inhaling, we're extending. You might notice how those front ribs desperately want to come up a little bit as you're extending. If that's the case, keep that left leg bent. Inhaling and exhaling. Got another couple here, slow and steady movements. Mm -hmm. Next time that knee draws in, you're going to give it a little hug. If that left leg is extended, foot comes to the floor, taking the right knee out towards the outer ribs, towards the armpit. Great place to be, give it a little hug. And this might be where you want to stay if you're on the chair. Now if you are lying down, coming to half happy baby, you can extend that foot up towards the sky in the amount. Um, a little flex in that foot if you want. Hand can come to the back of the thigh, outer shin, even that outer foot. And we're drawing the knee down towards the outer ribs. There's a whole lot going on through the, um, the groin here, through that hip on the right side. Option to stay here. Left arm can come out in a cactus or a T, shoulder height. Option to extend extend the left leg out. So we've got a half happy baby and the breath is steady and smooth. Again, the spine is supported underneath you by the floor if you're lying down. And this is a challenging one for if you are in the chair. So keeping that um, heel down and the knee just drawn towards the outer ribs. Got another couple of breaths here. Steady and smooth, longer, smoother, softer breath. If that left leg is extended, we're gonna draw it in. And then from here, coming into a twist of your choice. So drawing the right knee down. You can shift the hips over to the right if you're on the floor, if you're in the chair, take a twist of choice. Send that left leg out on the floor. Left hand takes the right leg over and the right shoulder is still rooted and grounded. And here we are in a one leg extended twist. If you prefer to have both knees bent, any twist you prefer, you can have bound roots here. Notice with the language of the body. Notice if by changing and adapting little things about the twist, how that feels different in your body. 
Keeping the breath steady and easy. When you're ready, the gaze comes to center, the knee comes to center. Take the feet in, knees to the sky, and reset to your hips. In the chair or on the floor, take a big breath. When you come back to center, exhale it out. Left knee draws in, give it a little hug. And then we're circling through that ankle. One direction, keep it slow and steady. And then back in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Now you know where we're going. So arms come in a supportive place for you. The back body is completely supported by the earth. A little flex in that left leg. And we're cycling on that one side. So we've got the hip and the knee involved, there's a whole lot going on here. This is also very involved in the core, keeping yourself steady and smooth. Now this movement can get bigger or smaller depending on what your breath and your body are telling you. So start to become really attuned to what it is that your body is letting you know about this movement. Notice if the front ribs are popping upwards. And don't forget if you're on the chair and you're doing this, rest here and there. It's a whole lot more involved if you're, because gravity is working again against you, if you're in the chair, it can be quite challenging. Notice which direction you're going in. And then we're gonna give ourselves a little rest. If you're in the chair, take the foot to the floor before we start to go around in the opposite direction. That leg can be extended out as much or as little as you like. It doesn't have to come anywhere near straight. But what we want here is the smooth movement. So if you're finding a place that feels a little more challenging, see if you can offer yourself a little more flow there. Inhaling and exhaling. There are always places in a movement that are more challenging. There are always easier places. So just pay attention without judgment and smooth it out as best as you can. Next time that knee comes in, we're going to give it a little hug. If you're in the chair, take that foot down, give it a rest. So this is the exhale here on the inhale, option to extend the leg up towards the sky, 45 degrees, or even down towards the earth, hovering. Exhale, we're bringing in. Inhale, we're extending. Now, if that heel is coming out, then notice that nothing is changing in the spine. And if things are changing, then do less. You don't need to extend that leg quite as much. Maybe it comes simply more up towards the sky rather than um, getting the lower abdominals involved, which is what's happening. The further away you take the foot from your upper body. Inhaling and exhaling. The closer that comes towards the floor, the harder your core has to work. Mm -hmm. Another couple here, always working within your breath length. And then the next time that knee comes in, you're going to give it a little hug. Left knee comes out towards the armpit, so the thigh may be brushing towards or on your ribs. Option to stay here. For half happy baby, you can take the foot up towards the sky. Take the back of the thigh, outer shin, outer foot, whatever seems to be available to you, and that's gonna depend on the length of your bones. And then we'll draw that knee down and your mat. A whole lot going on in the inner left um, groin here, the hip. 
So maybe this is where you stay, option to extend the right leg out, keeping that spine as neutral as possible, steady, smooth breath. A little flex in those feet can help the feel of control there. Always staying within the breath. Always giving yourself the option to adjust or adapt this to suit you. No right and wrong. There's no perfect way to do this. It's just what feels right for you at this moment. Another couple of breaths, steady and smooth, always coming out if you prefer, of course. And then if that right leg is extended, we'll replace it, foot to the floor, knee to the sky. And then from here, dropping that left knee in and down, you can shift the hips over towards the left. And then from here, any twist you like, maybe extend out the right leg, right hand brings that left knee across, left shoulders grounded. And if that left shoulder stays rooted to the earth, you can take the gaze away from you. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, adjusting this to suit yourself. There's no right and wrong twist here. You get to adapt it for your needs, for what it is your body's telling you. Really learning to tune into your own intuition and the language of the body. Some nice steady breaths here. And then when you're ready, gaze comes up to center, knee comes up to center, feet to the floor, knees to the sky, and we readjust ourselves into center. From here, you can take the feet a little wider, just windshield wiper, the knees from side to side. And keeping the pelvis on the floor if you like, or Knees can come a little further to one side if that feels okay for you. Opposite hip can lift. Just easing up any tension that may have built up. If there's any other movements you want to complete your practice, go ahead. Otherwise, maybe the knees come towards each other. Keep those feet wide, constructive rest. Maybe you want to starfish it out or take a relaxation of your choice, maybe on your belly, on your side, no big deal. And as you guys get settled, I'm coming up to guide you through relaxation. So when you're ready, take a big breath in. Exhale it out and whatever support you have underneath you, settling into that support. Allow yourself the luxury of being supported and being held. And then from there, we're just gonna come into just a little bit of breath work. So start to notice your inhales and your exhales. Maybe breathing in and out through your nose if that's comfy. starting to pay attention to those exhales. So I'll let the inhales take care of themselves. And following that exhale all the way down to the bottom of your breath. I'm gonna split those exhales into two part exhales to start with. So what that means is a moment, in a moment, not quite yet, but in a moment, I'm gonna take a full breath in. And then on the exhale, we're gonna split the exhale, you're gonna exhale half of your breath and pause. 
and then exhale the other half of the breath. And then we're gonna take an inhale and continue two part exhale so it splits in the middle. So if that's something you'd like to try in your own time, after your next inhale, all the way to the top of your breath, exhale one half, pause, exhale the other half of your breath all the way out, full inhale and continue like that two part exhale. You can even count those exhales if you like. So after your inhale, you count one for the first half and then two for the second half. Allow especially that second part of the exhale to start to release tension, to dissolve tightness. So it really feels like, especially that second part of the exhale, is a letting go. And you can continue here with this two part exhale. Otherwise we'll add three part exhale. So same principle, but we split the exhale into three parts. We exhale one third and pause. We exhale another third and pause, and then we exhale the last third, all the way out to the end of the breath, inhaling up. So when you're ready, three part exhale if you would like to participate. Again, option to count those exhales, counting one for the first third, two for the second third, three for the last exhale part. Focusing all of your awareness on those exhales and noticing how the exhale is an exercise in letting go. And the first part feels like a little bit of letting go. The second part is a deepening relaxation and the third part you can simply really dissolve all the tension. Notice those three part exhales and how much with every breath you can simply let go. With every exhale, deepening into the support underneath you. You can stay here with a three part exhale or we'll keep the same length of exhale but release the three parts so the breath is smooth from the top of the exhale all the way down to the bottom. One full exhale. You might even notice how that feels like you can release even more on that one long exhale, allowing yourself to dissolve into that breath. Noticing and letting go. Asking yourself how much you want to offer yourself that release. time, simply allowing that breath to soften into the easiest breath you can find. 
little to no effort as the breath comes back to its own natural, easy rhythm. And yet still noticing how much softness you can offer yourself with every one of your soft exhales. And with those soft exhales, allow your mind and thoughts to soften. Allow tension to start to dissolve even more as much as you choose. You can stay here for as long as you like. Tune my voice out if you want to stay for longer. For those of you who would like to finish your practice without needing to change a thing or even open your eyes, feel the space around you, the room that you're in. You can imagine the walls, the ceiling, the floor, and where you are. And notice the support underneath your body in all those different places that you are held. The different surfaces underneath you and on top of you, maybe the feeling of your clothes, the feeling of the air on your skin. Noticing the breath as it comes in and out through your nose, mouth, or both. Notice how you feel here after practicing. Your mind, your body, your spirit. Your breath. And with the slightly more mindful breaths, option to start to awaken your body with your own movements, fingers and toes maybe, head from side to side. Maybe big movements where you stretch wide or long. Maybe you want to curl up into yourself, give yourself a hug. Washing knees from side to side. Take your time. Awakening your body in your own way and we'll meet in a place where you would like to finish your practice. Rooting down into that support underneath you and rising from there. Allow your hands to come to a gesture of closing that feels perfect for you today. Take a breath in. Exhale, soften your gaze if you haven't already. Tune inwards, that interception. And again, notice, notice messages from your body. Notice the energy level that you are left with after your practice. No 
notice if there's any intuitive messages. Thank you for practicing from my heart to yours. Namaste.